<laughs> and now, to the millions and millions of listeners and viewers all across the world, it's the That's Not Christian Podcast. Hey. Hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's what up? Go. It's your boy Switch. I'm here with your man Jimmy. I'm here with your man Jay. And I'm here hey. with your man Ant and our very, very special guests, Cuz Siri and Bree K. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, go. we cherry because my man finally got it right after 10. I things. finally got it right. I was jacking up these girls' names, hard body, and I sincerely apologize. <laughs> take take switch. You should, please you should take, feel bad. You should please accept bad. my apology. <laughs> no, don't accept nothing. <laughs> What's going on, y'all? How every, how's everybody doing? Everybody's Amazing. ready for the festivities this week. Yes. Beautiful. Oh, everything yes, is lovely. Right. Everything is beautiful. For some man. coquitos. That's not Christian. No, it's not. <laughs> but, but you should right? definitely get a, a mug from that shop though. That's not Christian.com. Or your coquito? Get a mug sure. and also get new merch that's dropping. Ooh. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. We got like what? We got what? We got what? Three, three new designs. Is that right? Oh, that's right. Am I, am I not counting properly? That's no, three, right? It, two, two, three logos, and yeah, three. We we'll get everything that's on there. <laughs> get everything. And use, get and everything. use promo. Yeah. Use promo code thankful T H N K F L for thirty percent off. And if wow. you're listening to this. On Monday, you can use Cybermon, C Y B E R M O N. Is that like Jamaican? Monday. Cybermon. I was about to cyber yes. Cybermon. Cybermon. It's because you know I went to Cybermon. I went to Jamaica. Sim Sima. Yeah, I went to Jamaica, and then we had the first year anniversary uh, pod, and then the girls were there. You know all of that stuff. So we was like, all right, we'll do Cybermon. Ah, oh, makes sense. Nice. Makes sense. That was a lie, but anyway, gotta forgive me. <laughs> gotta <not> forgive me. <laughs> That's not Christian. <laughs> oh man. So where are you where are you go? What are you guys doing this week? Y'all gonna be with y'all families? Y'all on lockdown? What are y'all doing? Oh, no more damn, than ten. Bro. Well, if Most New York governor lockdown, we're I guess uh as of when was it Saturday? I think Saturday after 10 p.m. or something, we weren't supposed to be outside. And then on Thanksgiving, you're supposed to like not have more than 10 people at a gathering and like less than three households be outside. Use plastic. But y'all are Spanish. Cleaner. That's not possible. We're all Wait, Spanish in California. So what, what state are you late? You got California? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Oh, wow. In New York, there. Well, we don't. Do we have a curfew? Yeah. Well, the bars and the, and the and everything's closed after 10 p.m. But yeah, we have the ten. That's when COVID hits the hardest. After the ten months. people yeah. limit in a red, is <laughs> yours? A, is you guys a residency as well? Like ten people in your own household? Uh, household? Maybe I don't know. We're yeah, not really cause... listening because <laughs> I try well, to tell him. Listens. Well, Gavin Newsom's not even listening to himself. Right. Right. So Ooh, I'm just following his lead. Right. You know? Exactly. Oh. His example. Exactly. Right. The example wow. of our leaders. Shots fire. Exactly. We need to get our sound. Who's that? That's your that's your mayor or our governor? Governor. Yeah, governor. California's governor. Governor Newsom. Democrat. Yeah. Democrat city, right? State. Yeah. Democrat state. State. We have yeah. our state. Yeah. We got Cuomo. He's saying the same type of stuff. But yeah, they call it they call each other every night. <laughs> after, after 10 p.m., they call each other. Hey, so how are you gonna screw us? How are you gonna screw your city over today? <laughs> wow, shots fired. That's Cuomo, right, shots fired. Cuomo lying. He Italian. You know they're gonna have mad people at his house. Mad people, right? And pasta, mad pasta, too. mad pasta and vino. I know he lying. Yo, so I, my 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 Thanksgiving is probably up in the air because my wife, her coworker. Um, oh, is exposed has uh is is got a tested positive for COVID. So she okay. got to take a spot. So now she got to take a she got to take a test and see if she's positive for COVID. But she doesn't have oh. any symptoms or anything like that. Oh. So depending on the results, we not we might not be uh, joining anybody. Yes. Monday, Switch's wife test positive. 
<laughs> that's, 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 gonna be, that's gonna be the title Headlines, of this video man, look at <laughs> nah, Switch was over here complaining that he feels tired and all that I all right, like, he oh, that's, no, true. I do. that's true I do messing people's names up it, it makes sense right, right, right. <laughs> that, yeah, that exactly. part, man's confused and everything that's true oh, delirious maybe. Right. Switch have I you, heard have you bad money test? I heard bad money tested positive Oh, oh, no, past- breaking news, important news. <laughs> Only for you. <laughs> Which point? <laughs> what did he test positive for? COVID. Oh, <laughs> dang. Oh. I don't know about You know, that's funny. My <laughs> wife was like, I'm not surprised. <laughs> wow. Hey, are we still talking COVID? <laughs> All of the above. All of the above. Oh, man. He probably hanging with Harry Styles. Ooh. Wow! Man, <laughs> this episode is out of my control. <laughs> yo, and why you say that though? <laughs> why you say Cause that? Because Harry Styles, yo, he likes he likes to dress free. Dress free. <laughs> yeah, I guess. What What's up with Harry Styles? Yeah, he man, made, he was on the Vogue cover, right? In a dress. Yeah, the, first, the, Vogue the cover, first solo man. guy apparently to be on a Vogue cover. A Vogue cover. Wow! For, first solo guy. They never uh, had solo group of guys or something. That's interesting. I guess they've only had groups of guys and solo women. Who's the one that would that dressed up in like the sheep, the boat sheep dress? <laughs> the, oh, Young Thug. Oh yeah, he was, but he wasn't on boat. No, that was his own album. His album, huh? Mm-hmm. Oh, oh wow! Okay. So first solo right. guy, and it's a dress. It's a guy in a dress. It's a dress, yo. And but this ain't the first time he wore a dress. I saw him in like a like in a Gucci dress or something before. But like he gay though, like right? Red car, huh? He's gay. I think he's bisexual. <clears throat> That's gay. I'm pretty sure he's out about it. Yeah, he's gay. I don't know if That's he's catching or catching. He's gay either way. Right. <laughs> what did you what? just say? <laughs> He doesn't know if he's pitching or catching. <laughs> he said what he said whether you, he's pitching or catching. He's yeah, gay. You know I mean? He's gay. <laughs> no, you know, because oh I, I, I think God. I think I think I'm glad he said that because like there's people who make statements like uh what's his name? Yeah, they catching. No, yeah. No, they pitching, right? So they're not gay. Right, right, right. Wait, like dude. So I'm confused. Who is this dude? Oh, he's, he's from, from what direction? direction? Oh, I'm glad you wasn't asking something else. He's from what? <laughs> it's like why he was confused. He never <laughs> heard of the group One Direction. Oh, One Direction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so he's what the lead singer or something, or just he was. One of them? He was. He was. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They don't exist anymore. So like a boy group. Yo. Yeah, I remember them, but okay. Yeah. So. He's so really Candace wrong, Owens but... was making comments about him. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. She just said. I mean, she... Didn't... Yeah. Man, right? Men need to be men. Exactly. Right. She tweeted something like, "We need more masculine <laughs> men." She said more yeah. than that, but I know the end of it was, right. "We need more masculine men." I mean, yeah, something like that, like Mr. Brownie, Brownie. I'm not. I'm not against that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, well, the first do, solo what do you man. Guys, what do you guys think about the argument that in other cultures men wear dresses? Or what things cultures? that are kind of similar. what cultures? What cultures mean yeah, more Kilt, dresses? Eastern, That's like more dress. Eastern cultures, you know, they have different things. They're like it's like a garment that looks like a dress or whatever. Like what do you like, think I would I part? would totally wear one of those joints that them dudes from Saudi Arabia wear. They just one? look fresh. What? What are you talking about? Like, like the like long like tunics his, with, with like the, the, oh, oh, with the <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, That'd yeah, that's me, cool. I'll yeah, be looking like uh like I'll rock that in Dubai. French Montana. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. At the mm. at the uh, TNC Roadshow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I I'll rock right. one of those. I'm not no yeah, I'm not rocking no dress. Well, what, was there a reason why he he wore a dress? Was it like for shock value, so he, we could be talking about it on the podcast. And yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, did he drop something? Did he drop a album or a song or anything? I don't <laughs> think so. Because stop it, Ant. Don't you say whatever you're gonna say. What did he just drop, Ant? Just mute Ant right now. <laughs> yeah. Like this whole segment, just mute him. <laughs> what did he? Yo, did he Ant, what did he drop? Yeah, <laughs> 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 just savage, man. <laughs> nah, I just want to know because is w- was there a statement that he was trying um, to make? Like, oh, well, it's probably for the man, magazine cover. No, it right, is. Football. It is for the magazine. No, cover, I mean, bro. like, it's just not that. He, I don't know if he was <laughs> dropping an album or something. I'm just saying, like, 
It's probably just attention no. for the mag and, uh, and the... What I'm trying to say was he trying to bring attention to like gender equality oh, kind of that. thing. Was it like that or oh, probably. You know? well, yeah, probably. I mean, have you seen the Nas X one too? What? <laughs> oh yeah, Nas X. He dressed up well, he was like Nicki Minaj or something for like a Halloween photo shoot thing. Wow. Oh, I didn't Little Nas X, yeah. Yeah. And then another picture just released, like, I don't know how last week or something of him kissing himself. Oh, I've seen that. He had I've like hair, he had like long hair and stuff. So I'm just like <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I, mean, yeah. I think I Candace said woman. something about that too. Who? Anyway. Candace? Probably. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I know Angela Sanders. You, you saw one that what? I saw one. He 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 was wearing makeup like, with that other makeup dude. Um, oh, from YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Jeffrey. Yeah, that or, dude. or was it James? I don't remember. But anyway, yeah, uh, yeah. But I mean, if you look at the pictures, the dress is to me a feminine dress. It is. It's not like it's not like you know. It's not like a kilt. Know. Yeah, no. yeah, kill or or you Ooh, know Harry. What we're talking about. Can we just Harry? Yeah, Harry. About it? Okay. He he looks a hot mess in these pictures. Can we just be real about that? <laughs> now, yeah, say what you <laughs> want. <laughs> but, but, yeah, he's like, yeah, yeah. be real. That's what you're here for. Be real. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah, he look um funny. Now, when you say hot mess, you mean like you dig in the look or no? Yeah. It doesn't oh, look okay. good. Hot, like hot. it does oh, okay. not look good. I I think uh. I think a lot of times like people that are kind of pro that like gender neutral type thing or like pro LGBT and things just aren't honest about the fact that like a lot of these people when they're trying to make a statement, they look a hot mess. Like it doesn't even look good. <laughs> like I that's not probably, fly. Like, up, but, like, oh, you mean like fashionably it doesn't Yeah, it doesn't it was, fit like the well. dress it wouldn't probably wouldn't even look good on a girl, first of all, but like the dress didn't look good. It was like that a man didn't dress, even try. Right? Yeah, no, there was no effort into it. <laughs> now, what now? What do you think about for like we've seen this before? Dennis Rodman, um, mm-hmm. that's a good. Uh, point. Prince, right? Or uh, no, yeah, I don't Prince, know Prince. I don't think Prince wore. No, nah, Prince just Dennis Rodman wore. Yeah, nah. Yeah, I'm well, talking there's, about been other celeb- that, there's been other celebrities that have dressed right. Like when you know, Rodman is one clothing. of them, right? Yeah. So, um, like, how do you? Like, what you guys think in that aspect? Like, just, with them dressing or whatever. I don't know about, like, them, but I just think that personally in my own life, if I were to value, evaluate, like, all of the really, like, man's man type men that I know or, like, manly men, they would never wear a dress like that. Like a woman's like dress. Any dress. You mean like that? You <laughs> said like that. Well, because <laughs> they I think they might, <laughs> like I think that, they like, might like go to Dubai and wear that, you know, like the robe right. thing or something yeah, like that. Yeah, but as far as like a dress. But that's not a dress. Woman, right. Right. I mean, I, I get what you're saying, but like it kind of, I, you know what I mean? It's like, it's not pants or it's not right. shorts. Like it's right. the garment there. Right. Well, I guess but, culturally, right? That's what, that's, that's acceptable yeah. over there. Yeah, I mean, that's what because there's that scripture in the Torah where it says men shouldn't dress like women, right? Or is it something like that? Like mm-hmm. men shouldn't right. be dressing like women, right? And so, but but I think I think that's more I think that's more like of an intent though, like you're trying to deceive right. somebody, you know what I'm saying? Versus like, I don't think it was necessarily talking about uh, the contemporary wardrobe, you know what I'm saying? I think it was more so trying to be deceptive, you know? Oh, okay. Like, right. and even, at least that's the understanding I got. Even like when they bring up, oh, well, you know, men wear it in other cultures and or dresses or quilts or whatever. Um, how do they feel about homosexuality, though? Right, right, right. They in those other cultures. No, that's a good right. point. That's a very good yeah. point. Yeah. Yeah, I, sure. I do well, think, though, that it's interesting because I was actually trying to think about this when you guys sent this topic. Like, I was trying to think about it, and I'm just like, it's just interesting to me because sometimes it does seem like, like, the masculine manly men that I know, like I said, they would never wear a dress, um, nothing like that. But I do think that it's interesting, though, that, like, there's still, like, feminine women that I know, like, we would wear, like, a guy's mm. shirt or hoodie or, you know, whatever, <laughs> something that was made for a guy. Like, we would wear right. that. So I just think that it's interesting that there is that difference, I guess, between. It's not the same. So you think you think it's, it's it would be cool for a man to wear a dress, like like 
Well, like you would wear your brother's hoodie, right? Or your cousin's hoodie or whatever. Like, do you think that, I don't know, like your, your male cousin yeah. borrow your, your cardigan would be okay? I mean, I, I you know, because I'm just basing it off of hoodies and sweaters and stuff like that. Do you think that that would be totally acceptable? No, nah, a cardigan, maybe like the no. I mean, I just said, sweater. yo, it don't have to be a cardigan. I'm just saying, like a girl's sweater, a blouse. It depends, oh, I guess, sorry. right? Because yeah. I, is I know. Any... I'm... Sorry, sorry, I'm so sorry. No, no, no. Go ahead. Oh, is there okay? Is there any piece of clothing other other than like undergarments that is specifically designated for men that women don't wear? No, but there is one for women. Which is kind of interesting. Dress. I just think it's just interesting that that exists. That's all. Mm, that's a good point. Fancy dress is coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> Shop that's not Christian. Not right. Use, right. use promo code <laughs> thankful. <laughs> but have um, you y'all ever seen a man in a dress like <laughs> they look weird, man? <laughs> it's, it's not made for them. Like anatomically, body structure too. Yes, like, anatomically, men are built differently, and so it doesn't. Yeah. Look good a lot it just doesn't look good most and then the same thing goes in my opinion if a woman wears you know a, sh- a shirt or a sweater that's from a guy it just looks different you know or baggy you know jeans or something like that right. you know i've seen uh, i've known um i know one individual that 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 told me like yeah i, I buy women's clothing i guess because you know mm-hmm. he's not like tall but sometimes like he'll get a a shirt or whatever uh or like um like he said like a cardigan or like a sweater or something right and he'd be like oh that's hot but you know at first i was like yo that's kind of mad weird dude but then i guess i understood i was like well that's his probably his fashion and he's not he's not gay at all like he's totally straight but his whole thing was like he likes women clothing like like Prince, you mean like with the ruffly right. stuff? Like no, nah, not even like it could just be a sweater. But <laughs> since sure. but since he can well, I don't, fit, you know, I don't know. because he I'm could sorry. fit into that size, he's just right. like, yo, I could I can buy. You know, sometimes I'll see something that's in the female section and I can buy nah, it and rock bro. it. So he wanted that petite. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like Wayne, right? Wayne be rocking uh, leopard leggings and stuff. But now, like if he's showing oh, right, like his, right. if he's showing like his elbows, I mean, I mean, not his elbows, mm-hmm. his, shoulders his shoulders and all that, then you know, I'm gonna be like, "Yo, what's Check. good, B? That's sus, man. Like, what's good, like that? <laughs> no, not like that. Like, what's Pause. good? What's up with that, man? <laughs> Wait, so is Lil Wayne gay? What? <laughs> not that we know of. Gay. Lil Wayne? Oh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Wow, what did what? Well, yeah, I, I don't. Oh, well, I don't. A little Wayne about wearing like the leggings and stuff, but mm-hmm. I, I guess I guess I'm thinking about. Okay, so are we or not? Are we? But like, do you guys think that straight men who would wear like stuff that's more directed towards female fashion, do you think that it looks sus? Do you think that they possibly maybe are gay, but they're not out? Do you think that they could be fully straight and just? No, I, mean, I, I, I believe I they could be. Uh, yeah. I believe they're fully straight. Like I don't always equate their fashion with homosexuality, like y'all said. You know what I'm saying? Some yeah. people do it for shock value. Other people do it for <clears> fashion, <throat> and other people do it because they're just. They live a homosexual lifestyle. So I think those are the three options that you get. And you have some straight individuals who are like, hey, I like that shirt. Well, I could fit into those, uh, I don't know, sneakers or whatever, or that color sneakers, right? Because it's like, remember, pink was like a gay thing to wear, right? And then Cam came out with the all pink. It's mauve. It's mauve. It's mauve. You know what I mean? no one no one questioned him and his sexuality you know what i'm saying but for a long time it was like pink back in the days nah we right. can't rock no pink but right. then he came out and just like switched it up in, in a way but um, you know like now that i'm thinking about it even the gay guys that i know wouldn't wear a dress yeah that's true you know so i don't know if wearing a dress would be attached to somebody sex. but i think the difference is we know harry style styles is living okay. that type of lifestyle right so yeah it just makes it that much like yo what are you doing <laughs> but yeah a dress a full length dress i don't i don't i don't see no man looking 
Yeah, no. Yeah, I don't know if that can pass. Like that to me is like undergarments. That's borderline like a that's like a dude wearing like a, a, a <laughs> it's just not gonna you it's just not even, gonna you can't you know, even can't say. your brain does not compute. Yeah, like it's just like nah. You what, know, what about like um women who wear like men's clothes? Not necessarily like a man's hoodie or something, but somebody like let's say like um uh, Janelle Monae or something like that. You've seen her style and the way she dresses. She wears like tuxedos. But she's and feminine like though. Like, or even I mean, like Billie could... Eilish too. Like she wears very, very baggy clothes and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, but see, but see, look, those are two different. Like, see, Janelle Monae and Billie Eilish. Like Billie Eilish will walk off like a dude. Janelle Monae will walk off like a like a female. You know what I'm saying? Like, I guess it's the way they carry themselves too, because. Uh, uh, Janelle Monet, you she could wear whatever, and she still has that like I don't know the way she carries herself, the way she'll rock it or whatever. Isn't she right. like um like uh, gender neutral or something like that as well? Janelle Monet. Yeah, oh, I think she know. was with um that girl on Creed. She was. I think she was with her for a little bit. I don't know if she still is, but oh man, everybody's gay. <laughs> so so how does this translate into our community right the christian community is this acceptable is this i mean i, mean, I don't ever see dudes, you got dudes wearing um uh, pink boas and you know painting right. the nails in chh you know oh man you do i'm gonna stay quiet and is that, is that cool it's gonna <sighs> huh all right, it's, don't it's cool. But what did you say? Is that cool, Aunt? A pink bow. Yeah, you know, like a little boa, a little fufu, oh, a little oh, feathery oh, oh, joint, oh. you know, oh. with pink nails. <laughs> Wait, who did that? <laughs> for the, for the uh, fact that I, I am nearing <laughs> an interview with this particular, <laughs> I'm gonna stay quiet. Wait, who's going? Wait, who, who is it? Who did that? I don't know. <laughs> don't worry about it. What? Name drop. Because I, I don't know. I think personally, I don't really have a problem with it. With nail uh, nails, yeah, with, with the nails, hair, nails, stuff like that. No, I know. Yo, you got guys. Do you put clear polish on your on your nails whenever you get a manicure? Oh, who are you talking no. to? I said guys. Oh, no. I just I, I thought it was a broad. No, no, no. no, no. You don't. Yeah, okay. I mean, I I used to. I mean, I've done it a few times. I don't get my nails done anymore. So. But I mean, I've never done a color, just the clear coat. That's I don't it. even do the clear. Let them just, you know, whatever they do. <laughs> just leave it, it like out. that. Natural. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. Just let them do whatever they do. Huh? Just soak it, buff it out, whatever it is that they Yo, do. That and don't want nobody questioning him about nothing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo. <laughs> There's no don't questions over here, son. Yo, as <laughs> default is pause, right? It's pause. <laughs> Everything just in case, pause. pause. Don't pull <laughs> none of them little brushes out. Just do what you do. Right. No. All right. Well, I guess. I guess that's kind of up in the air, right? We don't really have. Uh, I guess we got to just be careful what we dress and what we, you know, shun the appearance of evil. I guess, right? Like. Yeah, I saw one of the comments that Candace was like, uh, "What they said? Well, clothes uh, um, don't have a gender." Like, what? Okay. Candace? No, somebody. Oh, somebody commented on Candace and said, "Yeah, they replied to her. Yeah, 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 they replied to her because they were calling yeah. her all kind of names." Well, that that's kind of like what Brie Kane Kasari was talking about. How like for men, there really isn't anything that's yeah. specific, right? Except for like our draws. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's women that are wear that. <laughs> True. They wear briefs and boxers too. You yeah. Know? So we don't have anything. But it goes back to your point, Jimmy. Like, <laughs> I guess the heart behind it and the intent behind it, right? Right. So, see, but that's, that's a, some people. Some people, let's say, you want to wear something in particular, and their intention is, oh, because it feels comfortable or they look nice, like the your the person you were talking about that goes and buys uh, women's clothing. Um, their intent is because they like it or whatever. But then other people will look at that and be like, that's kind of sus. Yeah, yeah, like I'm not getting drunk with that dude. <laughs> right. I mean, you shouldn't be so getting drunk awesome. anyway, but you gotta watch right. that dude. What? Right. <laughs> no coquitos. Yo, and just admit it, yo, I'm not getting drunk with that yeah. dude. <laughs> not with it. So, that dude around. You can't, you know, 
You can't so, try some, like, right? Hey, you might get too comfortable. Hey. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, so all of this. <laughs> so, is it more like uh, cultural, or what? or oh. is there like a specific? Uh, I thing. think there's a lot of like artsy guys who just are full on straight, but they like to paint their nails or, you know, whatever. Right. I think that you see it a lot in like rock, um, for example, where they wear makeup or they have long hair or, you know, like stuff like that. They wear tight pants, stuff like that. Um, and they're totally straight. They're not gay. Mm-hmm. So it could yeah. be, you know, I don't know, just minor cultural differences or whatever. <clears throat> yeah. So you think it's a cultural difference with Harry Styles? Well, no, he's really good. I'm, <laughs> no, that dude's really yeah. yeah. yeah he's really he's really about yeah. that life. I think that's more of a statement. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got gay songs. No, nah, I don't know. Gay what does songs. that mean? <laughs> what does that even mean? Like, is he singing the dudes? Like he got <laughs> first verse. Even, no, I don't think he's. Uh, like he got first, like and it's first going on the viral, downward spiral in this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, like, <laughs> what's that dude? He's thinking like, what's the, uh, that dude from? Uh, he's in, uh, Sam Sam. What the heck is his name? Sam something. Sam Smith. Sam Smith. Sam Smith. Yeah, yeah. What you know? He got songs. F- yeah, he's he's gay. He's openly gay. What? He's, one of his My, one of his songs was dedicated to that dude, dude. that broke up with him or whatever. So he like wow. Oh, one of his whole album, one of his whole albums mm-hmm. was like the, the he, yeah, he writes for a lot of people too, right? The, uh, I don't does know. he? Am I bugging? Sam Smith does he write for other people? Oh, I probably know. does. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. It's on some Frank Ocean type stuff, right? Yeah, man. But then you got so. you got other cultures like you guys were saying that like uh, I think it's in Burma they wear like skirts and some Polynesians. Right. I was they, like, oh yeah, they do. They were like they were raps, sarongs. I don't know what they're called. Yeah, and they're like manly guys. Yeah, they're like walking around with machetes and, right. and chancletas, like in the yeah. AK forty-seven. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And you got the typical Hawaiian uh, male who wears, you know, those the grass skirts or whatever. But but that's accepted culture. They don't walk around every that. day like that. If they're into like the dance, then yeah, yeah, right. I'm saying, but they're not like going to no, Walmart like, with a grass skirt on. Yeah, no, they they were with the with the with the with the other skirt though. I forgot what it's called, but it's like yeah. it's like a it's like a bed sheet that they wrap around their waist or whatever, you know. Yeah. So I guess yeah, I guess clothing doesn't have any gender. <laughs> yeah. It just really depends on the culture and the intent. At right. the end of the day. Right. Yeah. TNC two tops coming soon. <laughs> For men? For men. Yeah. But yo, yo, okay. fellas, what y'all fellas out there, man. I catch y'all in the dress. Y'all getting roasted. You hear me? Y'all remember y'all uh, remember the uh y'all remember the uh, uh the the Boondocks rompers? episode? Y'all remember the Boondocks episode where Riley oh, was wearing the <laughs> two top of the skirt? <laughs> nah, I've never seen that. I said, was it Thuggalicious? <laughs> Yeah, I, heard. I don't Yo, watch that. That's they not said that episode. That's not like Christian. Not I don't Christian. watch that. I only watch <laughs> Veggie. I only watch Veggie Tales. Wow. Even them, anyway. That's a different topic. Even them, what? Don't worry. Don't stop watching it. That's all I'm saying. L- Larry, <laughs> Larry boy never wore a dress, bro. <laughs> Larry boy. <laughs> don't you dare talk about Larry boy or Junior Asparagus in your life, B. All right. Well, I'll send you guys some <laughs> links <Asparagus>. later. <laughs> Um, Somebody um, went to uh, summer vacation Bible school. <laughs> yo, <laughs> tells was hard. Yo, but let's talk about some some manly stuff. Manly right, stuff. Man? Let's talk man. about Jesus versus Gucci man. All right, man. Oh, okay. Yo, <laughs> yo, you know, you know, what was most manly about that man was 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 Jeezy extended the olive branch, man. After he had been yes. disrespected, yes. you know what I'm saying? Oh, yes. So y'all watched it? Y'all watched it? A little bit. That's I watched it Christian. when it was being disrespectful. It, it started off disrespectful. Yeah, it was. So they, was uh, they disrespected us by being an hour late. That's true. I agree. Oh, they showed up an hour late. Yeah. So, so Supposedly um, they, you said they, they this was a versus, right? You guys are talking about the versus. Yeah, yeah. Gucci, yeah. Gucci, Gucci man. These are secular artists, by the way. Gucci man versus Jeezy. Yeah, I was about to ask you if they were CHH. No, they're not. So we we shouldn't talk about them then. 
So they, they've been having an uh, ongoing beef for ages, right? 15 years. Yeah, man. Supposedly, um, supposedly they did a song together. Right. And the so they did the so right. icy song, and then there was a dispute over, I guess, what label they'll be released or or something, something like that. I think it was he didn't show an appearance, he didn't make an appearance for it or something like that. Yeah, I believe it's something like that. And then uh Jeezy made a diss record towards Gucci Man. And in the in one of the songs at the end, he says, you know, um, I'll give anybody like ten thousand dollars or something like that for whoever gets his chain. So happens to be that there was a robbery and one of Jeezy's, um, somebody from Jeezy's entourage had tried to rob um, Gucci man in his house um, with four other individuals. I remember when it happened, it wasn't a robbery. Like, I mean, it, when they, at least when it was reported here, because I remember when it happened, Yeah, they, they said they tied him up. Right. right, he had like a stripper or something, right? That set him up. Yeah, I, that's what. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And he was tied up, so they were kind of calling it almost like a kidnapping. Yeah. So he, they tied him up. Um, and the, the like you said, the 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 girl was involved. He somehow got loose, got to his gun, and that's when he started letting off. And then them dudes that took off when he was still shooting. I wow. mean, if that's the story, can you be mad at that? Like, I can't right. be mad. Right. If I'm Jeezy. I can't be mad because right. you could have been dead right? because right. of me. You know what I'm saying? Because I said that on a rap song, you know? Yeah. Yeah. But I don't know. But so, then they say. So Gucci. Because you know, of what he said, though, right? It, I don't know if it's because of what he said, because that was actually Gucci's boy. I mean, excuse me, Jeezy's boy. Right. That yeah. was there. So he had, Gucci ended up letting off shots and then he killed one of Jeezy's artists. Uh, Artist from his entourage. Yeah. Pookie Lope, I believe that's his name. Something like yeah. that. Yeah, he was mad disrespectful too. He said, We smoking on Pookie Lope tonight. Like, dude was just going in hard. Oh, like, yeah. We pause. smoking on the Pook uh Pookie pack. Right. Oh, but was... I I'm interested, right? Cause I've I've heard that uh I've always heard that oh Gucci hasn't gotten over it. Um but I think this this was kind of necessary, not the whole versus thing, but for the Jeezy to extend that olive branch, right? That Yo, but how you get over it when somebody try to kill you, though? Right. That's that's my point. Like, how, you, how you get over that? Like, dudes act like you being petty. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. dude try to kill me. Like, I wouldn't be here right now. <laughs> right. I wouldn't like, be here right now if it went down the way it was supposed right. to go now. That's what I'm saying, man. So people are like... You know, and and they 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 kind of want an apology from Gucci, but it's like Jeezy has to accept his fault. Like, yo, but allegedly G Jeezy saying like, I never really sent out a hit. I just said right. that on the song. I never really He's like, put that out there for somebody to go after him. But we already know Jeezy and his ties and the BMF and the whole. You know, they was really in the streets back then. People who feel a certain type of way about that. You know what I mean? I don't know. I find it hard to believe that Gucci didn't that I keep doing it. That Jeezy didn't know his man was going right. there. Yeah. Like his man just acted on his own and and you know what I'm saying? Like I, I find that hard to believe. Well, he was on some Game of Thrones, you expected him to come back with his head and show him or something. <laughs> yeah. That's the Bible. <laughs> right. right, yeah, that too. Yeah. Like, so I mean, what did they expect? I don't know. Well, so, I guess probably, I think also, though, Jeezy did invite him. So I think that was also the thing that he was like, okay, I'm trying to, like, invite you on this platform, like, a man. And whether he did it or not, he's denying it, whatever. But, like, it was Gucci Mane's decision to accept or deny the invitation. And I think that when he accepted it, Jeezy kind of was like, okay, maybe we can, like, mend things. And he <laughs> he didn't see that coming from Gucci being that disrespectful <laughs> to his yeah. face. Right. He did turn it down, though, right? He turned it down once. Yeah, oh, wait, what do you mean? Like, Gucci said no at first. Oh, Yeah, I, Gucci I, had turned it down, and then eventually he was like, he was like, yeah, I'm, 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 I want to, you know what I mean? I'm cool with it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who you guys think won? Jeezy. Yeah, Jeezy, man. <laughs> Jeezy. I got Jeezy. 
I Jeezy, think Jeezy had they bigger hits. Like they, they yeah, there were a lot of Gucci songs that I didn't even hear, and right. they were just. I but he was trying to play new songs. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he was saying that. He was like, "I got new music. Where's your music?" Like he was pressing him about that. Yeah. But Gucci man just doesn't seem like he grew up. You know what right. I mean? When he was making those comments about the chains and I got, I got, you know, I, my my the way I'm dressed is and better. bands on my wrist. Yeah, it's, it's like, bro, like it's grow up. Yeah, bro, unless he was just trying to. What'd your funny. man say though? What'd Jeezy say? What'd he say? He said my real he estate. Said, <laughs> he said I, I'm not wearing <laughs> ten bands. He said, but I own half of Atlanta. Atlanta. Ooh, that was a bar. That was a bar. <laughs> I don't say, like, does he? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Well, I heard an interview, and allegedly he owns a lot of uh, real, estate. real estate. Like he's into flipping homes and stuff like that. He told DJ Envy, "Man, I'm trying to do a versus battle with you with real estate, you know, because <laughs> Envy, Envy's big into the whole. Let's go deed for deed, huh? Yeah, you know what I'm <laughs> saying. That's what's up. That's so, what I'm talking about. Jeezy had a real mature approach to all of this. Even the way he responded to the disrespect, I was like really impressed. I was like, wow, like this dude. He could have been like, I'm like, yo, this dude, this dude getting saved, like this dude's." Been hearing the gospel or something because his approach was so like, man, listen, that was 15, 20 years ago. You know what I mean? I mean Not even he wasn't, he, he wasn't the one that had the hit out on his life, though. Right. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> right. So, yeah. But his man still died. You know what I mean? Yeah. His homie still died, but with with a reason. I got, you know what I mean? I mean, it's not, it's, right. it's not probably, fair to say it that way, but. That. What happened? Right. He brought it upon himself. Right. right. Live by the sword, die by the sword. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah, man. I don't know. That's exactly why we won't see a Ja Rule 50 Cent versus. Mm. You don't Who would so? win that? You think 50, 50 win that? 50. 50. I would say 52. Yeah, he not letting that go. Yeah. So, yeah. You think Ja Rule, Jimmy? Nah, I don't got I don't I don't got a dog in the fight, man. I'm just oh, okay. I know Ja Rule wrote for a lot of people, right? So he wrote a lot of hits that like he he didn't appear on, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just curious as you know how that would stack up. But you know, don't sleep on 50 because he got hit. He could he could compete with just G unit songs. Like without yeah. even going to yeah. get rich or die trying. Yeah. Like he could just Absolutely. compete with he could he could compete with just his mixtapes. You know what I'm saying? Like he got that many records, so it'd be interesting. It'd be interesting to see, but um, you know, Fifty would win the streets. Um, ja would win the ladies. You know what I'm saying? Like if you do a versus, because you know how um, who was it? Jada Kiss and uh and and Fabulous. They were they were battling two different types. Yeah. Uh, you know, it was a different. They were, they both had different battles. Like if Fab would have stuck with his radio hits, he, I think he would have won. Right. I don't know. Um, but he didn't, you know. Yeah. So I think I think if Ja Rule sticks to his radio hits, you know, and and tries not to do, you know, whatever street records he did, I think he he'd have a fair chance. Uh, fire the DJs, right? The selections are awful. Yo, you heard 50, 50 did say he would battle the game though. He really, bro? Huh? Oh, unless unless the game brings out Joey Vantes, and then you know, <laughs> <laughs> you're dirty. <laughs> they might win. <laughs> hey, it's a G thing, man. It's a G thing. <laughs> what a, what Don't forget Bravo, to Jimmy. get your cease and desist t shirts on uh, shop that's not Christian.com. Oh Use God. promo code TNC10. <laughs> what a hell are you? That was awesome. That was great. That was great. Oh, you never my know. goodness. It might happen. Yeah, they get it really right. close. Yeah, hey, well, maybe. So who's yeah. doing well, Black Hopefully Friday both shopping. of them brothers, man, could uh could really uh, reconcile their differences, you know what I mean? Because that was cool at the end, but who knows where that goes, you know what I mean? Because they've had a situation He before. said he accepted, though, the Olive Branch, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. but they've had a situation where they deaded the beef, and then right. it, started it started up again. Well, you, know? you saw Jeezy was prepared. You saw when yeah, he I was. Yeah, I was just going to ask about that if y'all saw the, right. the photos. What? What was he prepared with? Yo, it was like Black Hawk Down, bro. He had oh, like... Oh, that was Gucci. Gu that was Gucci. Oh, that was Gucci. My oh, bad. Gucci, okay. Yeah. Gucci. 
yeah, yeah. Yeah, he, he, okay. y'all see that's... um Brie Cassart? Huh? Did y'all see that? No, I didn't. He had like they had like security, like I mean, like the president. They was they was running alongside of their cars with like there was this running next to the car. Yep. Gucci. Bulletproofed up. Yeah, Gucci. He, oh, they, I mean, they I'm had not like surprised. A, he had like a yeah. line of phantoms, and then they had the security outside with the right. The I mean, if if it. if somebody sent a hit out for me, I'd probably do the same thing. Right. <laughs> uh-huh. Roll up the same way. That's crazy. Well, yeah. I mean, not only that, but you make you know a lot of rappers are dying behind that whole dead homie stuff. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like people right. are dissing each other's homie i'm smoking on your homie's pack and all that like that's just super disrespectful you know Mm -hmm. what i'm saying and i think he knew that i think gucci knew that like i'm i'm you know i mean i'm i'm putting my i'm saying this stuff and i know somebody will probably come and get me you know i mean actually uh the dude who died son was mad at jeezy he made a video saying that he was mad at jeezy he was cursing at him and was like yo f him and all this because he was like, you know, how you gonna let that dude disrespect my my pops like that? You know what I'm saying? So, mm. you this know, was after, yeah, yeah. That's so crazy, you know, but your pops tried to kill somebody though, man. But this is the same kid. People don't made... see it that way, man. Nah. People only see their side. Right. You know, no, I you feel mean? you. I feel you. But people don't take responsibility for their own decisions or for their Facts. choices, mm-hmm. or even Preach. like if Bree made a bad decision, and I knew that it was a bad decision. I'm not gonna be like. Free Bree, you know, right? Hey, I'm here to kill five people. Right. <laughs> like, no. New merch coming out. Free I'm Bree. sweetheart. Free. Free. I don't know. That'd be fire, though. That'd be a fire tea. Free Bree. Free, <laughs> free Bree. Yeah. But, but at first. Let's do that. <laughs> Bree looked over at first like. Right. I was trying to figure out what I did. Right. She was looking like, you, you better ride with me. Like, <laughs> wait, hold up, yeah. right? Yeah, but you know, you know what's crazy is um I have a cousin who recently he he's been incarcerated um be, due to a murder. Like he murdered someone. He got into a situation and it's you know what I mean? Like it's so hard. I know that society, right? It's like, "Oh, he's a murderer, he's this." But it's like, "Yo, that's still my cousin." You know what I'm saying? Like for me it's like I still got to visit him. I still have to talk to him and still poly with him like not that like nothing happened, but just that that's my cousin. That's who I grew up with. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I, I get it. You know what I mean? Being in that position is just so different when the when the when you're the shoes on the other, you know, on, on the, the other, other foot. foot. It's like, yo, I, I I know like you know how it is where you're like, yo, I wish my cousin was home, even though you know he has to suffer those consequences for the actions that he made and the decisions right. he made. But you still want him home. Like, yo, I miss my cousin. I miss talking with him I, you know what I mean or whatever you know what I mean but it is what it is you know what I'm saying so I know how it is to be in that that side of the fence where it's like come home man I want you home man <laughs> free my man you know what I'm saying right 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 and sometimes it's, it's it's selfish of us to think that way but you know it ha- you know it's just what it is man uh, did you guys get a PS5 Wow, really? You game like that? What bots? Or, or, or what you trying to sell? Got, what bots did you guys use? Huh? What bots, what bots, bots. did you guys bots. Bots. use? Well, I'm not telling my sources. <laughs> oh, I need that. Somebody. Bro. She got somebody. Yo, hold up, hold up. What's what, what's what's the retail price and what's the resale price? Retail Six, for 600? the digital is four ninety nine, and then the resale right now it's currently between like eight fifty to like. 1200. Wow, double your money. What? That's for the digital version. The digital yeah, what do you mean, yeah. digital version? Disc. What does that mean? Parts, There's one with version. a disc and without a with, with a disc. I Listen, think the one with the disc is a little bit more in demand. I mean, yeah, more in high higher demand. People. That's 599, right? Something like that. Or five. It's 499, yeah. Oh, 499. Wait, wait. So I'm out of the gaming space since like PS3. So now there's a digital version where the, I guess it has a hard drive and you download wow. the games. Yeah. And then you have one that you actually have to buy the game and insert the actual DVD ROM. The one, the one with the disc, you could do either or. Okay. And then the one digital, you obviously it's only digital. Yeah. Wow. And and the one with the ROM, the CD-ROM thing is still popular? Mm-hmm. It's the most popular one. 
Why? Because people got games. Yeah. Oh, look game. at her smile. Like she's making a killing off of those. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's like, it's the most popular one. I think with the games, you could like you have a better chance of like getting better deals. Like because you could take a PS4, right? And and use it on the PS5 still, right? Yes. For so. like I think for a little a limited amount of time though. Oh, oh okay. Oh, really? Mm. Yeah, because if that was the case, I'd just go digital, like or just buy it off of the I internet. saw Download. I saw a meme that said like if if your credit score don't match the 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 price of, of a PS5, you have no business <laughs> buying one. Real talk though. Yeah, really though. Seriously. <laughs> I was about to talk about any business, but man, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, listen, <laughs> man. <laughs> Listen, man. Yo, exclusive, exclusive. Please, man. <laughs> right, 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 right. Hold on, we got it. <laughs> Yo, but you know what? You can get a couple PlayStations and fix your credit score if you flip them right. Uh, <laughs> like that. They don't. People don't. Think yeah, that. I didn't so, know they were resell that. Do they resell crazy. fast? That's crazy. Yes. I mean, somebody somebody offered me a few. For um, what? Good price. Yeah, retail price. So why you, but why you ain't taking it? Price. Why you ain't because, tell me? Uh, <laughs> why you ain't why calling me? Because, hey. like I said, I'm out of the re- the oh, gaming uh, space, so I didn't really know. I know there was hype, but I didn't think like twelve hundred dollars to sell. You'd be like, yo, none. Y'all know y'all got kids. Y'all want one? Yeah, right. Nah. Well, how about let's uh, let's invest. Right, let's uh, flip some, right? Yeah, yo. I didn't think that. <laughs> We gonna talk after the pod, man. No, no, but hold on. Maybe the person help out with this. Cause like, well, you guys bought one because you 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 were flipping them or no? I think you guys didn't say. Okay, so you flipped them. I I kept one and then I flipped another one. Nice. I'm paying for that. Right. And and was it? uh, Did you flip it for eight hundred or over a thousand? Yeah, I was like fifty. Wow. And you saw it right away. Credit score. Mm Hmm. What? It's a good credit score. <laughs> no, no, it is right. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay. Mm. I'm gonna need a book get. So, how do you girls get it? You got to connect. Five. Who got oh, five? My brother got like five of them. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I was offered five. Sold all of them. Right. Dude, you was offered five. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, bro. What's up Yo, with this we gotta put this dude on discipline. Di- disciplina. <laughs> Yo, this dude, this dude's sending us links of air misters, but he not sending us links to <laughs> PS5. What's, what's that about? Wow. Wow. Bad, <laughs> nah, go I'll, ahead, ladies. What y'all was saying about how y'all got how y'all got it? Your brother. Wait, wait, wait. Brother before you continue, wait, wait. Before you continue, dude. is it sold out right now, or can you yeah. can you go and buy? Sold they're out. sold out. They they're restocking, but you got to really pay attention to try to get one because they restock like five at a time. Yeah, it's super it's low, super limited. Yeah. Yeah, so, I, mean, I don't think that'll be an issue for me. Anyway, whatever. We'll, the okay. next ones that are coming yes. are yes. like sure. December. I think December's the next batch, right? December yeah. 13th. for Christmas. Yeah, but yes. they're limited. They sell out in two minutes. One minute, they're gone. Right, right. right. Yo, don't sleep. Don't sleep on Brie and Kasari, man. They on their hustle, bro. Wow. So, me, how did you ladies get in possession of the PS Five? Okay, so they did a. Okay, what I will say is about. Um, they did a pre-order in September and nobody was like, people were hype about it, but I feel like nobody was as hype because I don't even know if they were like, just not thinking about Christmas coming up or what, but that's when I caught the two and I got them fairly easily. Like it wasn't like we do a lot of drops. And so, you know, when you run into like glitches and stuff, you have to keep refreshing. You have to keep putting in your information. Like it wasn't none of that. So that's why I'm like, for those that don't know out there, uh, releases of like stuff that's in high demand. Okay. Um, shoes, like stuff, just stuff. stuff. <laughs> stuff. Funko pops, like stuff like that. Okay. Um, what pot? Or limit no pops. pops. Funko Uncle pops. pops. Funko pops. Oh, what is that? Ones. The the dog, those are the little um, the oh. little big head. Yeah. Right there. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, okay, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> um, but yeah, nobody was really hype, and then like. When the second drop, which was the official release, which was in November 12th, um, there was like another actual release online and stuff like that. And they sold out quick then. And I think like people were like upset at people are always upset at resellers, first of all. Yeah, they are. But I'm like, if you're not putting yes, in the I work, the same work, like this is their job, basically. They're taking it serious. Right. 
like subscribing to a bunch of different websites and mm-hmm. turning their notifications on. Sometimes we're staying up like all night refreshing on stuff that's not even guaranteed to restock. Like if you're not putting in that work, then you don't deserve a PS5, okay? Tell them, tell them. Wow. <laughs> or you're going to pay this $1,200. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Gladly take that. <laughs> no, but that's a good point because I, I heard people were making comments, oh, how could people resell that for that much and da 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 and my my thing is this is a luxury like this yeah, isn't absolutely. a necessity this isn't right. when y'all was going crazy for toilet paper and right. paper towels and medicine right. we talking about a luxury right this is and that's what it is you know what i'm saying no but that's pretty wild i still can't un- like like understand why you need it it's so immediate and you're willing to pay a premium for it because Christmas under- is coming. And because yeah. people believe the hype. They drop it at the right time, bro. Right. They do this all the time. You know what's even crazy? I can't even understand you got off of five and didn't tell us. <laughs> well, you know what I mean? <laughs> Look, Jimmy's Listen. mad about that. He don't even want to pod no more. <laughs> 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 we would have That's like hundred percent. That's a hundred percent markup, son. Like we could have all invested in that, flip that. Yeah, I mean, uh, that's cool. Anyway, it's cool. It's listen. cool, brother. We'll so, do you guys sell it on eBay? I'm or you guys no, sell olive, it on Olive Branch towards you? Okay. <laughs> you. The only reason you're extending it is because I might be able to get him, and you want. <laughs> <laughs> so, you guys sold on online or what? Or ship yeah, it? I sell mine on eBay, but eBay's being really picky with really? Like, who they allow to sell. Like, wow. for example, I'm not yet a verified seller, so they wouldn't let me post it until it was like within the 30 days of November 12th. So I could post it like 30 days before, but even then they were being like a little picky and they kept taking my post down, basically saying like, if you try to repost it, then you're going to get suspended. Yeah. Suspended or whatever. Um, But yeah, so that one's been okay. I sold mine there and then I just got mine because Kohl's did a drop low key. When was it? Like two nights ago. Wow. What? Uh, I yeah. missed that one. That would have been a good one because nobody would have known. No, no one goes to Kohl's. I don't think anybody really did. So. Yeah. Um, but they were canceling some orders and stuff like that. Yeah. I think they got more orders they over- than they thought they were. Is, it, is there a limit um, of how many you can how buy many? online? Yeah. No. I think you can only buy one per email. But if you're making multiple emails and stuff that you could, you know. And Life then, hack. Kind of, Y'all hear that first. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, how do y'all I even see. know? Like, how But wouldn't they know phone? with the payments? Yo, this is what they about, bro. Y'all they are got his, a little chat. Family, right? So you just use their addresses. <laughs> <laughs> but you're using the same for, uh, form of payment. No. Oh, well. well you, 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 got, only have, you only have one form of payment. Or but you get you a know, gift card. We can't, we right? can't give all the secrets away. Right. Right. All right, you trying to? Oh, trying to, uh, you got to take their <laughs> course. She, she said you got to subscribe to a master class. Get their course. <laughs> Five ninety nine. Right. All right. Find out more. You got to subscribe to our group. But um, no. So I just got mine. I haven't sold it yet. But I. You only got to- one. Yeah, I just got one. Um, okay. That's all I need. <laughs> right. We hang. Oh, so you wanted it for your? Oh, you wanted to resell no, no, it for no, yourself? I, yeah, I want to resell. Okay. So, um, I didn't try the first time around. I kind of was just like, whatever about it. But since there was one this time, I just got it. But um, mm. how about Xbox? Not, not letting me post it. Xbox was hype too, right? It was hype. Yeah. I did try to get. Oh, I it was hype. Okay. Well, there's two types, right? There's Series S and X, X. I think. You want you want the X. The That's X, the yeah. Higher demand one. But I tried to get one last week, and it just didn't. Or was it that? Yeah, it was last I week, so. and it just. I screen recorded because I wanted to show people like <laughs> you. It takes dedication to if you really want a system or like any drop. Because Anything, again, yeah. I was seeing people being really mad, and like it was a lot of refreshing. And I didn't get one, but it's just like it takes a lot of work. When it says sold out, doesn't mean it's sold out. <laughs> oh, my brother got like the heck? Got like four of them too. But shout out to. My hey, boy got four of those. What about the Nike? You guys get on them Nike apps and and be and be. Yeah, sometimes. yeah, we do. We, we do. Those are hard. Yeah, there hasn't been that many. And me and Aunt be striking out with those. <laughs> I can't talk, kinda, Yo, huh? her, her brother got the same joints as Khaled. What? Them, them bird joints, the, oh, the yeah. feather joints. I don't know what they call. I was. Oh yeah, he can. Oh yeah, he had his like... name and everything. I just saw it because I was, I was on, uh, I was on, uh, on Snapchat and I seen Khaled. He, he opened up a box of sneakers, right? 
and the joint looked like feathers or something on the sneaker, right? And then it had his name on it. And then like, so I leave Snapchat and I go, I go to, I go to, uh, uh, um, I go to Instagram and I open up his story and I'm like, yo, it's the same box. Like, this is wild. What, what are those? I forgot what it was. I forgot what so, it was. But so whose brother? Who's whose brother is it? Oh, oh, your brother is like re, a big reseller. Then he like yeah, resells. Oh, yeah. All right, we got a. We, we got talking six figure him. seller or what? what? I don't know. I don't look at his financials. Oh, okay, okay. I really <laughs> don't know. But he's, you just know he flips trying a lot. To, He's trying to be there. Like, yeah, he's okay. He gets right. everything. Nice. I feel like if he wants it, he'll get it. Yeah. But he's yeah. like he's very super serious, super very dedicated, serious, super dedicated. Now he he sells it himself, or does he go to the consignment no. shops no and do all of that mess? No. Okay. He sells it himself. Yeah, they rip you off on the consignment. Yeah, they do. <laughs> <laughs> yo, so one of my one of my homies, he met somebody on Instagram, and they had a page since like 2012, and the guy. <laughs> <laughs> the guy's like hey look um i got i got i got the pre-orders because i use bots and i can get you guys you know ps right like and so you know he put that in his stories and and his page or whatever and so my boy hits him up he's like yo what's up how much you know how much do you charge i'm trying to get my hand on um two of them and he said yeah and he said he said how much he said well you know i i don't do this for reselling I really do this just for people who want to give this to their kids and stuff like that. So I'll, I'll only charge you like an extra, I think, hundred dollars on top of whatever the five ninety nine is. You got, so got. I think it was the tax and like an extra 50 bucks or something like that. And he was like, that's how I make my money. And, you know, I know my thing is he's like, my thing is really sneaker selling. But, you know, I got the PS fives and, you know, he's like, you know, you could pre order them with me now. And then when they come in, when they ship them to me, you know. Um, I give you'll it be to first you. in line, and he, he and the thing is, my boy's been texting him, and the dude was texting him back right away, and they was having convo. And then when the day came, no response, deleted oh, Instagram, and my man's out of his money. Wow, uh, he can't charge back. Cool. Oh, he gave him cash, he gave him cash, and he met with him on person, and he got his license plate number too. So, oh, okay, well. Uh -oh. Let's see. Uh oh. Yeah. I will uh, find so, you. Right. Back to this. At least if you play with a credit card, you could dispute it. But right. that's crazy. Cash, yeah, you can't. Yeah. But to be fair, my friend was he know he knew he kind of prepared himself. He's like, this thing is too good to be true. This is super sketched. Maybe this isn't the wisest thing to do. And he still did it. But he still did. He should have used. He, he should have used hope. music video money. Because he thought that the dude was so legit that he was like, you know, like he has his page, it's his personal page. It wasn't he like a well. reseller page. Yeah. yeah, he sold it well. Wow. So the PS5, when is the hype over? After his holidays? Probably not till next year. Mm -hmm. I'm not when sure. was the last one that came out? When did the PS4 came out, come out? Years ago. It might have been just pay, like wait, anticipating for this drop for like a couple of years. So mm -hmm. I have no idea, though. But also, though, because of COVID and the lockdowns, game systems have just been doing really well overall. Oh, right. yeah. Yep. Very true. Nintendo Switches. Yeah, the yeah. Switch. Yeah. They've yeah. been out since 2017, and they still are, like, sold out all the time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. My, oh, uh, yeah. They're saying that the PS4s are selling out now. What? Are, what? Yeah, That's because people are buying their... People are, are reselling their PS4s, and people are just buying them. You think I could get something for my PS3? Yeah. Yeah, 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 try it. Let us know. <laughs> you, know like once there, so? you know, once there's hype around a certain like thing bucks. and people can't get it, they're like, well, let me get the PS4 or the PS3. <laughs> $20 <laughs> is not enough. I'll give you 10 bucks. Jay, I'll give you 10 bucks. Give me your PS3. Don't worry, man. Add another zero. You got yourself a deal. <laughs> Does it work? <laughs> yeah, it's brand you new. Any games? What do you mean I, it's I brand guess, new? Bro, I bought a PS3. Probably three months before I met my wife, then girlfriend at the time. Because my friend was like, oh, let's play games. I've never been a gamer. But he was like, buy the system. We could play NBA live. I was like, all right. So I went and I bought one. Three, I, I think I played twice. Three months later, I met my girlfriend, now wife. And 
I still have it under my TV, and this is their collecting dust. Collecting dust. Yo, this yeah. dude's listening to Paul Washer. That's why. <laughs> why? What do you say? <laughs> Paul Washer said, real men don't be playing video games at home. <laughs> no, I just, uh, I, I'm not, not, I've never been a gamer like that, you know? Yeah, I hear you. I'm I'm only into basketball games too, and whatever other sport games there is. Yeah. Oh, I used to like Fight Night. That was a good game. They should bring that back. Yeah, I know. So, yeah, the yeah. boxing game. Oh yeah, 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 that's right. That was fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was. You do Madden as well. Madden, I, not so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah same. Yeah, but anyway, yeah. all right. Well, whatever. Yeah. I want a PS Five for my son. I tried though the drive. Oh, you sure? I, yeah, I don't play the, the games. I don't even. Uh, have to. But he gonna he gonna be. Oh, your son is the gamer, on. right? He's gonna yeah, be playing yeah. with the lights on. He's gonna lock the door on you. Right. <laughs> they don't know what you're talking about. He, it's my my son has LED lights around his room, and I walked in on him and showed him the video of this fool just chilling, playing games like, like he doesn't have a care in the world, which he doesn't. So he's just chilling, playing Madden. He's living a good life, man. Right, he's living he's good. Like, oh, yeah. I don't That's have to beautiful. pay rent on the first. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have I am to not mad at him. I'm not <laughs> mad at him. And they looked at me like, why are you recording me? Because it's my house, fool. But yeah. Um... <laughs> so anyway, all of y'all out there, man, if you want that connect, Go to these. They got it. Hey, they got it. Sorry, <laughs> pay a premium for it, brother. Okay, They're gonna free. pay. I right. say it's not. Free. Didn't expect to pay double. So, so right. you didn't. <laughs> Brie K, you didn't sell yours yet, right? No. You ain't get it. Yet. You ain't get it yet. I haven't got it yet. No. Oh, okay. And uh, and the order went through everything. Like you think it's legit? You'll get it. Yeah, I keep checking, track. and it says it's um in process. So, and yeah. and uh, my brother's wife got she bought two of them and one of hers got canceled so i think mine would have got canceled already oh how many y'all have in your brother's house this dude got like, squad man he got, this got GameStop, yo <laughs> game stop <laughs> yo. Whoa. yeah man yeah that's, that's not it's like a whole family of resellers man yeah they're like Bob. gypsies <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so what, what do you ladies got going on like uh yes. I recently is it an EP that you guys are dropping together? Yes. Okay. So yeah, cool. let the people know yeah. who you girls are. What is it that y'all do? So we are Brie K and Kasairi. That's how you say our names. We're cousins. I think we might have mentioned that already, but yes. Been making music together. You're cousins, but you're also twins, right? We're also twins. Yes, we're also twins. So <laughs> we've been making music together since 2014, I think. And we haven't put out an actual project with multiple songs on it in like three years. Wow. It was a really long time because we used to put out music every month. Um, wow. So we're, we're very excited about this project. We really like it. Mm-hmm. Um, we hope that other people do too, obviously. So Assassins was 2017? Yeah. Dang, that seems like it was just yesterday. That's wild. Oh, so when are you dropping? Black Friday. Oh, Black oh, wow. Friday. Like right now. Black Friday. Wow. So we got Jared. We got Hurt. And now yeah, we have... Now Brie Kasari. Yes. Wow. Pre-order so how long... Save. All of that is up right now. Dope. Yep. I got my joint saved. So how many tracks y'all got? Right Three. And what's the name of the, the EP? Gradient Dream. Radiant Dream? Gradient. Gradient Dream. Gradient. Gradient. Like Photoshop. Yes. <laughs> like Photoshop. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. Wow. So how long have how many tracks are we talking? Three. three. Oh, three. three. Oh, did she yeah. said three? Oh. Okay, so what happened? They fire. Like, we are they fire too. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sure Thank you. you heard him. Oh Jimmy my. heard him. You heard it? Yeah, him? man, I got exclusive. You know I get exclusives, bro. You know I get exclusives, bro. You know what I mean? I'm about to tell y'all that it's a podcast of four. All right. <laughs> right. No, you know what? It's funny. We're, when we were like writing the list, we're like, I was like, should we do that? Should we do TNC? Like, I don't know if they would want to, blah, blah, blah. And we're like, oh, no, it's just, just Jay. It's LA because we're more. <laughs> yeah, no, that's understandable. Now we know. Nah. But yeah, send y'all, 
Everybody send y'all track to us. Uh, and free merch, right? And free merch. <laughs> if you want. We'll check it out. Um, no, nah, but that's what, cool. What happened was we initially were projecting to release a full project this year. But then with the whole, just how this year went, it was very limiting with, you know, photo uh, shoots and whatever, all of right. the space, basically limited amount of space, like all of these restrictions. So we're like, okay, well, we'll just push that one back, but we did want to release something. So we basically decided to do these songs. Um, so then we, yeah, that one, came, this project was made fairly quickly. So this was during COVID you guys created this project or before. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So all the songs yeah. are new. It's nothing like, we pulled this out of the bottom of the barrel right. and yeah. throw it out here. Yeah, all of them are new. Yeah. Now I did hear in like one of the stories, uh, I heard some of y'all like music. I guess it's the previous music, and the quality was like top of the line. Like, where are you guys mixing? Are you guys like? Are you doing your own mixing? Are you like? Yeah, breeze, mix breeze the mixer. Thank okay. You so much. So thank you. Yeah, like, did you go to school for that or something? Because I, I listen to music and sometimes the quality is like, eh. But listening to the quality and I was like, yo, this is like top, like up there with, you know what I mean? Thank like, you. No, I didn't. So I've been making beats since 2007. So I kept making beats. And then at some point, every producer, like your world is rocked when you find out what mixing is because you didn't know about it. And now, you know, you need to do it because your stuff sucks. Right. right. So I got on YouTube, started um, watching this channel called the recording revolution. And he had like multiple series called five minutes to a better mix. And I probably spent like three days, like 10 hours, eight hours, eight to 10 hours each day, just like going through those series wow. um, and trying to learn as much as I could. And so I just have, I always feel very insecure about my mixing. So I try to make it really good. Like I really spend time trying to like make it as good as I can. Cause that's dope though. Yeah. Uh, I yo, just, shouts out to YouTube university. For real well talk. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's what's up. Yo, it definitely sounds for, so from that's from the previous music that I heard. So, so this new music is probably even more crispy. Right. I hope so. I hope <laughs> extra, extra. Now, are you? Do you guys rap, or is it just singing, or is rapping and singing? We do both, but we sing a lot more than we rap. And this project, it's singing only. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And is this like worship music, or is it like our day to day life? Or it's what, like what country. Kind? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Mixed with a little bit of trap, right? Country right. trap. <laughs> um, you'll have to find out. Oh, I'm just kidding. Um, it's like, <laughs> well, I feel like it's really hard to like put us in like this genre. I know that sounds super snobby. It's not. I promise you. Mm -hmm. Like, we just have well, a hard time with trying to like. Right. Eclectic, I think right? Jay is LA can probably do a better job at saying what our music sounds like or what it is. Right. Because we're terrible yeah. at doing that. No, I would say it's a eclectic. You know what I'm saying? Like you get it. It's it's it. It's like a journey almost, you know what I'm saying? Because I felt like when I was listening to the project, I was like, okay, this is fly, you know what I'm saying? And and it was kind of like, and the first joint that I heard was kind of like, a, like kind of like an electronic vibe to it, you know what I'm saying? And then the second joint was like, it was like a, it was a worship song, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it was like, that's what I'm saying. It's like, like this this journey you know what i'm saying because you just go through you know different peaks and he can't even it explain dope. it he can't right. explain See? it either so like, I'm not it, i mean it was dope. Explain it. So it's, yeah. it, it would probably be like a fuse of like pop electronic r&b i think that would be like yeah, yeah and like orchestral yeah or wow. like cinematic type yeah stuff that's cool by any chance you guys know Pardon. why i'm getting an error for apple music no maybe Wait, Ari mentioned something about that. I think you might have to go to iTunes and tag. Oh, there. okay, okay. All right. You I click the it. link. Is that what happened in the bio? Yeah. 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 Well, sorry, right. we got to try to fix that. I saw uh, Sela also reposted you guys, right? In his stories. He did? Was it Sela? I didn't see it. I think, I think he, he did. I think he tagged you. He was yeah, like, I people, I need you. to get music from or something. Oh, oh yeah, he did. Yeah, 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 he did that. Yeah. 
which is very nice. I like, I think it's so sweet. Like people sharing their platforms that have like much bigger audience. Oh no. We lost your audio. Can't hear you. We lost your audio while they're working on it. One second. (laughs) Yeah. So I thought I heard. You're no, nah. <laughs> in and out, in and out. All right, can you hear us? There we go. Yes. Yeah, nah, yeah. <laughs> so you said something about sharing platforms. Go ahead. I think it's a, I think it's really nice of people to share their, uh, yeah, to use their platforms to share our music, especially when they have bigger audiences. It's yeah. just like really sweet, and we're like honestly super grateful for like the people that we have um, around us, our circle, but also just like the people that are actually like fans of our music, mm-hmm. and just the people that right. we've met in like chh or you know music wise like it's really nice when people share our stuff or, like thank you guys for right. sharing your platform Honestly, with us yes because you totally absolutely a little no old us yeah just so old us hey that's the same way we feel about this podcast when people start adding us <laughs> for <laughs> real. yeah it's true it was like wow little old us like who would have thought Aww. you know yeah it is what it is. Especially when that's dope. Like multiple comments and stuff. It's like, yeah. wow, like y'all really Which comments. Continue. Yeah, for <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, very true, right? <laughs> yeah. That's Shout dope. out to Brie Kane Kasari for commenting on the videos, man. <laughs> I, Yo, but, th- I just who- want to say, I love this podcast. Yeah, like, I really seriously. do. I listen to everything. Oh, episode. thank you. Oh, Word. Oh, okay. Okay. That. Yo, we got some fans, guys. You hear that? <laughs> 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 we got some supporters. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. Oh, that's Yo, who, who who made your uh, album uh, cover? My brother. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, the one with the PS Five. Yes. So oh, I only have one brother. Back of all trades. Yeah, he's really good at a he's lot. He's a of web things. designer too. Yeah. Whoa. Wow. This yeah. dude snatching PS Five and making album covers. This dude, <laughs> <laughs> and then build a website for it. <laughs> uh, right. Yeah. right. Now, Bree. <laughs> Bree, you made all the production for this album, like the yes. beats. Yes. Nice. Yeah, wow. like all of our music. Do you like singing to your own beats, or are you like? Uh, I do. I like okay. doing both, singing to my own beats, and then our own beats, and then other people. Okay, because I know some people they're like, I don't like singing to my own or rapping to my own beats. You know, I rather because they're bad. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, okay. what's what's been the hardest thing about uh, this EP? This one? Yeah. Or was it hard? No, Maybe it was natural. No, there was a lot of material. There was enough material this year to <laughs> talk about. Mm, it was okay. It's pretty easy to make, so I think this one came fairly like quick and easy. Quick because the the EP that we've been planning on has been taking forever. Yeah. Oh, that- so there's more. Yeah, there is more to come. Like we have a whole there's other. There's always project, more with but- these two. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was, yeah i was gonna ask that like you guys have enough like do you plan on having like i mean because it can go another route right you can just have a whole nother direction and then scrap that and you know what i'm saying just create something whole new or what you already have recorded you already got plans for like all right this is for this yeah. album yeah it's okay. it's it's more like that um we try to be good stewards <laughs> We don't want to like make stuff and not put it out. Um, so, and I obviously like Bree, she does everything. So like, it's only considerate to mean? be like, well, we, it takes a long time to make beats and like, um, you know, no. just it takes, it's time consuming to like mix producing all of that stuff. It, it, it takes a while. And then she has right. to like, you know, it just takes a long time. So, so to, we're not going to make beats and then, or make songs and then not put them out. Uh, yeah, Usually yeah, yeah. they are planned. And we'll talk about yeah, concepts. Like, oh, what do we want to say? Blah, blah, blah. So does this happen together in the same space? Or is this like, hey, send you a beat, write to this, and think of what you came up with? Or is it you guys come together and listen to a yeah, beat was, and then vibe out I was going to ask that too. How you go, how's the writing process? It depends. Well, it it kind of changes. Well, like for this project, for example, the first song I had written and produced and recorded and stuff by myself at first because I wanted to make a bunch of songs during COVID. 
And then my job called and was like, we need you to come back full, full regular hours. I was like, oh, dang. Like, I was just about to start really making money. I mean, making music. My bad. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Yeah, making uh, money. Yeah. Now you're right. See where you're, right. Mine is. <laughs> you're right. That's right. <laughs> my bad. My bad. <laughs> but um, so I made like, I don't know, three, four, maybe like five half written, half produced songs. And when I showed them to her, she really liked that one. And then she's like, we should do a project. So um. Wow we kept that first song and then the other two songs she was with me when we like we came up with the whole concepts we started the production started the chord progressions started some of the vocals and stuff like that like we were together so it just kind of depends how long did it take to do a little and then usually like like those two songs that we did together then it obviously they it starts coming in pieces like she'll like continue on with it and then send it to me what do you think of this is there anything that you'd like to add or take away stuff like that and then i'll tell her and yeah that's usually how it goes mm. are you guys are you guys uh picky when it comes to things that you make like do you re-record like a million times i know i didn't oh, like the yeah. way it sounded or whatever oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. so you guys have drafts and then you come back and you say yeah let's do that riff over and so everything is in uh brie k studio then Yes. Okay, cool. Now, you two being cousins, right? How did um did you both come to Christ like at the same time? Was this like was one a Christian trying to recruit the other one to come to Christ? Like what was that? How was that process? Of, was of it? Of it was gonna be like her brother was selling a PS2 or something, and then <laughs> he gets something <laughs> Christ. He was selling Christ. <laughs> yeah, he was selling Christ. I got Bibles. Yeah, limited, yeah, limited edition Bibles. <laughs> King James Version. <laughs> oh. Well, our family, uh, we grew up in church. So oh. our fam our our whole family is like church goers, saved. Yeah. Like um well and <laughs> right, right. No, no, no. Yeah, mo- like 90% of it. Yeah. Um, so um, but her parents were the youth pastors at my church. At her church, but even in like when we were younger. Oh yeah, directing yeah, yeah. choir like we would be in choir like doing like you know gospel music like all of that stuff so um but yeah continue Sorry. okay well so when I was in high school she because we we were like close sometimes off and on growing up because well her and my brother are the same age and then I'm a year younger than them so we were like always at my grandma's house at the same time during the summers and stuff like that but when I was a senior in high school she actually wanted to start coming to church with me on Wednesdays because our aunt, well, I guess you had stopped going to church, yes. right? When she was like 18 or so. For like a year, she, right? It was like for like a year. It was like, or maybe know. it was less than that. I don't know. It wasn't like a long time. <laughs> so one She's of like, our, don't no. judge me. It was only a year. Because <laughs> <laughs> no. I didn't even know, like I had, I didn't know. I didn't even know that you, if you went to church, if you didn't, like I right. just didn't know. Right. Um, but one of our aunts started like forcing her to go to church with her because our aunt is like so pushy. Like, yeah, she's like very pushy. So she, everybody has an aunt like that. Yeah. Oh no, God. she's like, I'll pick you up and I'm going to be there at this time. And yeah, I'm like, oh my gosh. Praise <laughs> God. So she started making her go back to church. And then I guess that's when you kind of started coming to Christ. And then you hit me up and were like, can I start coming to Bible study with you on Wednesdays? Mm -hmm. So that's when you started coming with us to Bible study. And we kind of started making music like on like when I would I would go to her house earlier than whatever time we we leave. leave. And so we kind of started like making music then, I guess. So were you guys like you guys were doing music before just individually like you guys were singing in church or playing in the choir or anything like that i was always yeah Yeah. i was always singing in church yeah you too Mm -hmm. and Uh i was always writing songs uh playing the keys i had started making beats like a few years before that happened or a couple years before that happened so yeah i think well and then also though like sometimes when we used to get together as kids we would like write poetry or we would like write little songs and stuff so (laughs) right and then you like hindsight you're like okay that's what that was yeah it was like you just, I don't know. I guess I thought everybody did it. Right. <laughs> so what guys, happened, Kasira, Kasira, what happened when you turned 18 and that you decided, I don't want to go to church or? Uh, what? what do you mean what happened? Like, why'd you stop going? Uh-oh. Like, why'd you stop? Why'd you want to backslide? I was just rebellious. I think that like, uh, <laughs> why'd the devil have you bound? You're dumb. <laughs> 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 oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think that just like, 
not having that own relationship with God, you kind of just like think of church as like, okay, this is something that you do every Sunday, every Wednesday, and you're just going and, and, and nothing's really happening. But then when you start to develop that relationship with God, you're like, okay, this is why people go. Like this mm-hmm. is, you know, you start to see that value in your relationship with God. Um, so I really didn't have that. I think that's why. And then also I'm really, so like when I, fir- when I had first started going to my church, the one that I've been at for like years, um, I didn't initially go to the youth. So I was not in youth. So I didn't have like a foundational, like people that I could talk to and relate to and stuff like that, because I'm very, I was very like introverted. I did not want to talk to anybody. Like, I don't like that whole thing. So I Same. would stay with my mom in the services. And so I really didn't have a lot of friends around me that were like going to church and like Christian and stuff like that. So I think that's also why um, I kind of just fell off and like wanted to do my own thing, not being, I don't like being told what to do, stuff like that, Mm. you know, but yeah. So you don't think that, I guess before, I guess it was just, you were going to church pretty much. It wasn't really like I had that encounter where it was like, all right. Right. I got like, God now. Like, I know right. God. <laughs> yeah. So, like, right. Exactly. And even when I first, when I started going with Brie, there was like one time where they had this spoken word artist do spoken word. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so dope. Like, I've never heard of this. Where have I been all my life? You know? And that is kind of when I realized that is where the poetry comes into play in my life like the gift that god has for me you know or one of them whatever um and i was like i heard that and i was like no i'm I'm doing this spoken word like stuff so that and then i went home and started writing and i think that that is kind of also what sparked like a new love for god like Mm. you know you just start like a passion yeah a passion and just seeing that unfold kind of like made me like appreciate god and his plans for our lives so much more because it's not only like i think that people get caught up in like oh yeah i have a nice voice or oh yeah i'm a great songwriter and stuff like that and like but the thing is it's like not about you like it's about other people you you know drawing other people to god and directing them to god and have you know what i mean like just letting people know god loves you like as you are and even earlier when you were talking about how people like like with your cousin who um murdered people or something like that yeah and you were saying that people look you at murder him. someone not people okay someone <laughs> not out here like a serial killer right <laughs> 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 sorry nah it's all good no and you were saying like people kind of look at him differently and i think that that is just like that's what makes your relationship with God so beautiful is like we love each other with conditions and God loves people unconditionally like mm. he died for you like you know and with everything that you done and doing what you're gonna do already did all of that stuff and he still right. loves you you don't he don't look at you any type of like with a side eye like people like you know you know how we do when we know what people done whether they done you dirty or your family dirty you're like <laughs> right yeah <laughs> you <laughs> right <laughs> no but yeah i think that um it just helped me appreciate like god and his love for me um, yeah way much more and it helped me but that's similar to like the psalms right in a way where it's like you know they were communicating mm-hmm. that love for god and god's love for them and and what they're going through in their life so yeah it's that's dope man that's really dope. So you, Bree, you were you were in church since young. Yeah. So I, there was like a point, I think probably from like birth all the way until I don't even know after I graduated college, like I might have missed one Sunday the entire that entire span of my life. Like I was <laughs> at church every Sunday, every Wednesday. We had praise team rehearsal on Thursdays and my church is pretty far from my house. So like it was a commute like. And, but my parents, like they, it wasn't a choice for us. Like there was no, but also like, it wasn't like we didn't want to go, like we wanted to go and we used to serve alongside our parents and stuff like that. But church, I feel like was kind of like a social thing for me when I was like in high school. Um, I don't really, I, I always say I really got saved. Like when I was in college, because I, that was like the first time that I had, like, I was by myself, didn't have like 
you know, somebody there making me do anything, making me read the Bible or, or, you know, keeping me accountable to pray, like nothing like that. Those were the things that I had to do on my own. And that's when I really established my, my personal relationship with Jesus. Like, I feel like prior to that, it was, I don't know, like it was kind of there. And like, I knew, like, obviously I just like, I knew about like the redeeming power of Christ. I knew how like God could restore things. I saw it in my family. I saw it, you know, in other people, but I just feel like for me personally, um, I didn't really know, or like, I just didn't have that like closeness with God. Right. Wow. That's dope. Yeah. So that, that, that reminds me of like, you know, when the scripture says, raise your children, right. Like, or the word of God, never returning void. Like, your parents and your family instilling that in you guys and just yeah. seeing the fruit of that is dope man so yeah man this uh this project it sounds like it's gonna be fire man jimmy got a sneak peek we didn't right. it's all right <laughs> i'm tight <laughs> <laughs> no we no, hold on hold on hold on but maybe the next you one. about your ps5 right there was uh the, the but there was also i had to make a video i don't know if y'all were prepared to do a video that was part yeah. of the stipulation. Do you know what uh, I mean? That was part right. of the agreement. You did the reaction? Oh, okay. Yeah, I did a reaction video for yeah. Oh, we didn't see that. It, did that come out already? No, not yet. Okay. There's a promo. There's a promo out today. But it hasn't hasn't came out yet. Now so, are you so let's do Jimmy cut his side deals? Uh-huh. So we're so were y'all were y'all prepared to do that or not? Because there's still time, right? Tell them right. there's still time. There's still time. So live reactions or not? <laughs> Yeah, possibly. Uh, I'm done. Quiet, Talk to my manager. Yeah. Talk to my manager. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nah, we with it. We with what? It. <laughs> it's a G thing. <laughs> you know what? Book me on Cameo. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, yeah, that's, nah, that's foul. <laughs> just foul. <laughs> I'm just playing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, so I had I did a I did a reaction video. Um but it was like mad easy. I was like nervous at first, right? I was like, dang, like what am I gonna say? What am I gonna do? Whatever, whatever, you know what I mean? And yeah, I think you could tell I was kind of nervous in the video. Um no. yeah. but uh, it was cool though, because the, the songs were dope. So it, you know, it wasn't like it was more just like, wow, this is dope, you know. And I was and, wondering, like, what's gonna happen if she, did. yeah, yeah, if you didn't like it, like right. would you have been honest about it? Yeah, would you oh have- for sure. Oh, okay. Wow. How'd you do it though? Like, how'd you, how'd you how do you do, do a reaction video? Yeah, well, I mean, for in this case, for them. So I sent out a folder um, with the tracks in it, and I just asked our handful of people if they could do a live reaction while listening to it. You'd record yourself, and then you would send the recording back to me. Okay. <clears throat> so, question. All right, because you guys mentioned this. What would it, what? How would you guys feel if somebody had heard it but didn't like it? Like. How do you balance that, or like, what would you have done? Not put it out. <laughs> what could I do? Like, you gotta realize, like, everybody's not gonna like. You're not it. correct, yeah. right, right, right. Right. Everybody's exactly. not gonna like. But what it. if, what if it's somebody like, for example, Jimmy, which obviously you guys sent it to him. Uh-huh. Um, you know, if he would have came back and would have been, yeah, not us. <laughs> um, if he would have been like, you know, I didn't really like this. This, like, what would, like, like walk through us. Like, what would you have thought? What would you? Say or I think yeah, it's she not would've, she would unsubscribe to TNC, just it'll be that easy. <laughs> She'd be like, Well, I'm I don't like you guys because <laughs> yeah. the, the only reason why I ask is because a lot of artists they'll send it to people, right? And the reason why they send it is not so much so that you know they could be like, Oh, yeah, this is great, but like to get the obviously the feedback. So, right, if you got negative feedback, right, you know, what, what would have been the, the issue? Or I, the think, pro- or what I, I think it's natural to like be insecure or like about your music because that's your baby right like you kind of be like oh when people tell you stuff you're like so should we have done this or what should we have done different and stuff like Mm -hmm. that but like I mean again not everybody's gonna not everything is for you I don't like everybody's music like it's natural sure that is like normal stuff so I mean if 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 Jay's LA wouldn't have liked it I mean it would kind of like you have bad taste. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> <Duh>. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That, yo, that's how I feel when I read when I read our comments on on our podcast. <laughs> right, obviously, right, yeah. obviously, you ain't on our level. 
No, you just be like, this guy's a hater, man. Right. He's just really hating on me. Not at all. Not at all. I'm too sensitive. And I do not like that. It's so annoying. Like, if, if JSLA probably didn't like it, I probably would still, well, I would still post it. Because, like, first of all, he took his time out to listen to the project. Regardless, like, I'm going to post it. I'm not, even if I disagree with it, like, wait, that's wait, his wait. real feelings. And if, if it wasn't right. for him, then that's fine. Like, Mm. that's dope that you guys have that where you it took me a while to get there man because i was i was like mad like nervous and kind of insecure when we first started our podcast and after a while i was like man they don't like it they don't like it who cares right. you know yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. There are, there are like- we we got our we got our 20 our 20 regular subscribers right. yeah. you know what i mean we that's good i know i see right Seriously. you know you know what happens i think people compare you or they compare people to their favorite individuals, right? It's right. like, well, I like this artist. And if you don't sound like this artist or you don't do music like this it's artist. It's trash. Yeah. It, yeah. And sometimes they're not open to that. And, I, and that's the problem. It's like when you make comparisons, like we're in a space, right, where this podcast, YouTubers or whatever, but everybody's doing their own individual thing in a different way. You know what I'm saying? We have our... Uh, our space and the crew has their space and, and any other YouTubers that's out there, they have their space and they do it in their way. You know what I mean? And it all works. You know what I mean? Everybody has can, you know what I mean? Enjoy it. And if they like it, they do. If not, you go to the next person. You know what I'm saying? Right. <clears throat> yeah, we can. All- like, I, I remember yes. there's like a friend, like he's like, oh, I'll, you know, like he loves South, um, South Side Rabbi. You know what I'm saying? And like they're dope, you know, KB, and they're like more theological and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? And he's like, Yeah, you guys should do it. Like, and I'm like, nah, that's that's not what our podcast is. Like, we right. never intended to be that way. We were right, barbershop right. talk from the beginning. That was yeah. our vision, you know what I'm saying? Right. We weren't trying to get into theological and deep debates and stuff. That just wasn't us, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. That is kind of one of the, um, I don't know if it's so much an issue, but like people will be like, oh, why don't you post to this or, you know, uh, like do more CHH stuff or CHH centered stuff. And it's like, we don't have a problem with people calling our stuff CHH or even putting us in that category. But I think that like our lane, we, we know our lane and we're not going to try to be like, oh, we're hip hop and we're not hip hop. Like not Mm -hmm. all of our stuff, you know? Mm-mm. so yeah i think it's uh, just being aware of your own stuff and it, I, we're not ashamed for people to call us like christian music or christian artists right. like whatever yeah. like we're just going to continue to do what, what god put yeah. in our hearts to do and say yeah. and when he tells us to speak we're going to speak and when he tells us to sing we're gonna speak, right whatever you know like just continue to be obedient that's all we need to be he'll handle the rest Right, man. Oh, Amen. So, yeah. you guys are oh. dropping any music videos for this one? Uh, I don't know. We don't know yet. Yeah. Do you guys do your own videos? Some TikToks. <laughs> <laughs> some TikToks. Uh, okay. Sometimes that's all you need. Right. Yeah, that's what everyone's doing, especially during COVID. Right. Grab you a couple TikToks? clips. Huh? You I did a couple TikTok? TikToks, but I I, I deleted it because. I thought that it was banned, and then they're like, "Because of China, because of Trump, China, China, China." China. Listen to your leader. (laughs) leader. So I got a question uh, for y'all, and I've asked this to a couple other artists. But when you're when you when you're done, right? You have the final product, and now it's out. You know, how does it feel that you know? you have that yeah what you you know yeah this masterpiece is done and it's out you know for the world to hear and you know especially the content and the way you wanted it so how does it feel knowing that it's complete it's out there and now let the word go good it feels good uh because ultimately i don't know you kind of make music and for other people to enjoy like I don't know I think that art is kind of for other people to enjoy or to consume even if they don't enjoy it but um as an as an independent artist though like that's low-key when the real work begins <laughs> because right. you have to push it you know you have to <clears throat> be the one to promote your project or be the one to make sure that people actually hear it and see it and know about it right and that was one of the things that we were kind of like failing on like we would totally. push it 
after two weeks it would be like okay what's on to like you know <laughs> just die next. out just yeah. die out and move on to the next but this time around we're like we're not gonna put something out and not push it this time like mm. or else i'd rather not do it that's good so we did came up with a game plan meeting weekly and making the content for the next week like the following weeks or whatever um and lately we've been doing good i think it's easier when you have like another person to hold each other accountable yeah um but yeah it, it's it is work <laughs> so no, I, I feel like it, when you're done it's not necessarily you're done right 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 and that seems to be a big misconception with music you know it's like okay my album's out you know everybody go crazy it's like yo right. nobody knows your music is out right. you really gotta push. <laughs> nobody knows mm-hmm. you <laughs> right, right. Like, who are you <laughs> right but yeah that's cool. So where, where can people find you? Where can they find your music? I'm Brie K Sounds everywhere on social media. She's Can you K-S- spell that? Can you spell that? Yes. B-R-E-E-K-A-Y-S-O-U-N-D-S. And then her username is Kasairi, K-A-S-A-I-R-I on all social platforms. Our music, you can look us up. We're Brie K and Kasairi, which is stylized like Brie K X Kasairi on spotify apple music all the places that you find music at these days <laughs> and nope. i think that's oh if you want beats though um that i actually have sad. a website oh. for you. not only for artists content creators as well if you want beats i have licenses for you and that is these are the sounds.com yeah. and you, is that is that where you get that t-shirt too yes, yes. That is where you t-shirt get that is t-shirt. dope as well as that one. And okay. that's also where you can get a discount off of any of the merch using TNC 10. Hey. hey. You'll get 10%. Let's, let's are you are go. you mixing as well for the artists? No, not really. Oh. It's too it's just too time consuming. We're gonna send you, we were gonna send you some music your way. See if you mix that down. <laughs> we get yeah, TNC 10 on PS. I mean, I can, I can if you want me to. <laughs> You might get it sometime next year. But. <laughs> Yo, ass, say say it again, a month from now. <laughs> hey, is TNC 10 on the PS5s? <laughs> <laughs> About that. No. I had to go to GameStop and try it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Dirty. <laughs> Yo, y'all gotta tell me next time Cole's make a drop, right? <laughs> Bro, <laughs> nobody on Cole's website. Word. <laughs> That's what's Cole. up. With that being said, we want to thank everybody that listens, watches. Um, if shout you out to the already, commenters, man. Shout out to the commenters yeah. and people who left a review. Absolutely. Shout out to Kali Naga who left us a cool review. Probably the dopest <laughs> review thus far. Um, yeah. everybody commenting whether you agree with us or, or disagree. What's your man's name, Switch? Oh, 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 Kyle uh-oh. Manning. <laughs> shout, out, shout out to Kyle. Yeah, you know I mean, shout out to we Kyle, in the comments, man. man. We appreciate everybody leaving comments, man. For real, that's man. Facts. It's all love, that's, brother. That's facts. Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button and uh, make sure that you go and uh, pre order uh, Brie King Cassari's new album, uh, Gradient Dream, out everywhere. Uh, they appreciate the support. I definitely will um, pre-order. Go pre-order. get your merch at shop.that'snotquestion.com. We got three new pieces of uh, clothing coming out. Oh, yeah. Make sure you use this promo code. Uh, once again, it is thankful, T-H-N-K-F-L for 30%. And if you listen to this after and it's Cyber Monday, it is Cyber, Cyber Mon. Mon. Cyber Mon. <laughs> yeah, for 20%. And if you oh, want to get any of their... Uh, uh, merch, make sure you use that code TNC10 to get 10% off. And uh, I think that's it. And uh, we'll see you next week. Happy Thanksgiving and peace. Happy Thanksgiving. Peace. peace. peace.